Welcome, this is the Algebra 2 and of course practice test, the Tennessee and of course practice test. Question number 56. The question says which graph best represents one cycle of y equals cosine 2x? There's a couple things going on here. First off, you have to know what the cosine function looks like. If it goes up and down like this, kind of like a snake, that's your sine function. So you don't want that. Anything that looks like that, you can just go ahead and eliminate. So that's out and this is out as well. The next thing you need to understand is how that 2 affects your graph. The cosine, by the way, looks much like this. And it should go from 0 to, in, mo in general case, if it's just cosine x, it goes from 0 to 2 pi. But for us, we have to think that 2 is in there. Now, if that 2 is in front, instead of in front of the x, like it was in front of the whole figure, this would change how tall it is. So any number that you put up there, it's that many times taller. So instead of going from 1 to 1, like this graph, 1 to negative 1, like this graph does, the 2 in front would make it go much larger. So in this case, that would be this. But that's not where that 2 is. It's a, a, in front of the x instead. I'm going to struggle through a little bit of stuttering there. Um, when I have my 2 in front of the x, that means how many times that, uh, that uh, function will occur in the normal period of 0 to 2 pi. So I'm looking for something that doesn't quite take nearly as long as usual. And how this sets up originally is that at pi over 2, I would usually be uh, going, I would start at 0 here, I would go down at pi, I would be down at the bottom, then at about 3 over 2 pi, I'd be back up, and then at 2 pi, I would be back to the original starting point. So essentially, it would be at half pi, I'm back to the the, the x-axis at pi, I'm down to the bottom of where that function goes. At uh, one and a half pi, what I'm dealing with is back to the x-axis again, and then two pi. But in this case, I'm actually going to try to shove it in, two of those into one set. So it means I get all the way back up and down when I am at pi. So the answer, of course, is going to be g, because you can see that the cosine function makes it all the way up and down in one in the span of one pi. So that means I could fit another one in of the exact same size right here. So I have one, two of them in that period of 0 to 2 pi. But maybe that's not enough and you just want to graph it and see what that looks like so we can talk about that too. Let me erase all this mess. What I'm going to do first is go to the window and change my range. So go to window and this will pop up. Your x goes from 0 to 2 pi in most of these. So I'm going to put 0 here and I'm going to go ahead and put 2 pi in and it converts it to an integer form, but whatever. Uh, my x scale, I'm going to actually set as pi divided by 2. I don't know, I accidentally hit the, uh, I forgot to hit second, so it's pi divided by 2. The reason I'm going to set the x scale as that is because that's what they're using. See, half pi, pi, one and a half pi. So I'm using that scale. My y, max, and min uh, doesn't really matter. It's at 5 and negative 5. So if you want to change it to 5 and negative 5 to get an exact match, that's fine. But you don't have to. It goes up by 1. Everything looks good there. So now that I have my range set up, I'm going to erase all these things from another problem in this set earlier. And, and then I'm just going to type in y equals 2, or cosine 2x. And I'm going to graph it. And as you can see, it goes up, and then it goes up. It's only at 1 and negative 1, so that means it doesn't go up to 2, so f is out. And as you can see, in that, time peri in that period, it goes through two uh, full function sets, so, which is exactly what you want. This one would do the same thing. Here's my pi scenario right here. If I could draw a line through it. So as you can see, it looks just like g down here, so I can say comfortably, which this is g, you just can't see the letter, I can say comfortably that the answer to number 56 is g. So you can do whatever you want, you can use the logic that if the number is in front it changes how tall or small the uh, uh, the function looks on the graph, or you can graph it out nicely, and anything, by the way, I should have mentioned this before, if the 2 is in front of the x instead of the cosine, it means that's how many times that function should go through a full sequence within that period of time that you have originally set, so 0 to 2 pi. So that's it, not a big deal. Uh, you might want to graph it and make sure you get the right answer, but if not, just use your brains and you'll be fine.